Hello again, my name is Gabe Zola. This is the 10th of April, 2018. This article was published on April the 10th, 2018. Put up by YourNewsWire.com. News, truth, unfiltered. Title, Police, Smallville Actress Procured Children for Elite Pedophile Ring. Smallville actress Allison Mack is wanted by police for helping procure young children for an elite pedophile ring in New York. Mack, who played Clark Kent's love interest in the show, has been named as a co-conspirator in a criminal lawsuit against the operators of a notorious child sex cult called X N X I V M. That's N X I V M. MSN.com reports Mac 34 will reportedly face sex trafficking charges after allegedly working alongside former co-star Emmy Award winning actress Christine Crook to recruit other women into the NXIVM cult. Allison was used, as was Kristen, as a lure to bring in other women because of their celebrity status. The New York Post has quoted. Parlato is saying, there's a link there for the New York Post. I clicked on it. You should as well. According to the complaint, Rainier, known within the group as quote-unquote Vanguard, oversaw a barbaric system in which women were told the best way to advance was to become a quote-unquote slave overseen by quote-unquote masters. They also were expected to have sex with Rainier and do minimal chores for masters and to keep the arrangement a secret or be publicly humiliated, the complaint says. Co-founder Rainier was arrested in Mexico last Monday and fronted court in Fort Worth, Texas the following day on charges filed by federal prosecutors in Brooklyn. Parlato reportedly claims Mac started as a slave for the group before eventually becoming quote-unquote a slave master. Her nickname among defectors is Pimp Mac, Parlato was reported as saying. In a letter attributed to Rainier previously posted on a website related to NXIVM, the leader of the self-described self-help group, leader denied sanctioning the notorious practices. Quote, these allegations are most disturbing to me as nonviolence is one of my most important values, the letter said. The complaint said that many victims participated in videotaped ceremonies where they were branded in their pelvic area with a symbol featuring Renair's initials. During the branding ceremony, slaves were required to be fully naked, and the master would order one slave to film while the other held down the slave being branded, the complaint says. Investigators say Renier preferred exceptionally thin women, so slaves had to stick to a very low calorie diet and document every food they ate. As punishment for not following orders, women were forced to attend classes where they were made to wear fake cow udders over their breasts while people called them derogatory names or threatened with being put in cages, court papers say. Rainier left the United States late last year after the New York Times reported the stories of some woman who defected with their secret sorority and the government began interviewing potential witnesses. He sought to cover his trail by using encrypted email and ditching his phone, court papers say. <clears throat> Rene was ultimately found staying with several women in a luxury gated community in Puerto Vallarta, where villas can run 10,000 US to 13,000 a week to rent. <clears throat> Investigators say the authorities took him into custody on a US warrant. Investigators said the woman got into high spirits in a high speed car chase. The website related to the group describes Renier as a scientist, mathematician, philosopher, entrepreneur, educator, inventor, and author who has devoted his life to studying the human psychodynamics and developing new tools 
for human empowerment, expression, and ethics. Rainier and NXIVM have been the subject of criticism for years, dating back to at least 2012 when the Times Union of Albany published a series of articles examining the organization and allegations that it was like a cult. Authorities say Rainier has been bankrolled by Claire Brofman, an heiress to the Seagram's liquor fortune. Brofman gave millions of dollars covering expenses like private air travel, costing $65,000 to $85,000 per flight, court papers say. <clears throat> I'll attach the link. You take a look at it. Don't forget to click on the embedded links as well. Thanks for listening. Totally insane, is it not? Shows you what Hollywood's all about, doesn't it?